thank you for tuning in. I wanted to share a little bit of indoor testing with the latest DJI SDK, that's 4.2.2, and DJI Spark. We're using this to uh, test drone blocks. Right now there's a known issue with waypoints not working uh, with the latest SDK and Spark, but I wanted to demonstrate just some yaw features and autonomous control indoors, which is really cool. So just to be safe, because I am indoors, I'm not going to issue a takeoff block from drone blocks. I'm going to manually take off, get in the air, and then we'll run a few commands. You can just see how incredibly stable Spark is hovering there. And now what we'll do is we'll take a look at drone blocks. Now I have drone blocks beta loaded up. See the camera feed with Spark there. Now what I'm going to do is just issue a basic loop and we'll yaw three times. Let's just yaw right. I'll say 90 degrees, hit OK. Let's go ahead and just do a quick preview. I'm not going to see much because I have no connectivity in here. But what I'll do is I'll start the mission, except now Spark is yawing right 90 degrees for the first loop you can see it doing again and you'll notice a little bit of a at the very end of the yaw sequence it'll make a minor adjustment people have mentioned that to me on multiple occasions that's just something in the firmware and we'll have to deal with it for now but still get pretty precise movements drone blocks tells us our mission was completed successfully so let me trash these yaw blocks and let's just demonstrate a simple photo command so we have it there and what we should see when I confirm is that our lights will flash our photo lights so you can see the red lights on the front LEDs blink and that means our photo has been taken as I mentioned at the beginning of the video some of these blocks like fly forward change altitude those blocks won't currently work in the beta mainly because uh, waypoints are not supported on spark yet and to fly forward and change altitude we actually use waypoints so we've been talking with dji and hopefully pretty soon in the next version of the sdk we'll be able to support that that will make spark a pretty amazing platform for writing your own missions and learning how to uh, code you can actually see uh, based on the battery alert spark is automatically landing itself which is pretty cool and you can see that that wasn't related to drone blocks, but Spark landed itself because of the low battery alert. So just wanted to share that quick update. We're also working on drone pan and drone repeat support for Spark, and I'll be sharing more about that in the near future. And if you guys have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.